Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about open canvas from Langchain. Last video, I created about this chat GPT uh, canvas. What is open canvas? It is the open source alternative to uh, this chat GPT canvas from Langchain itself. This is the GitHub repository as it is shown here, open canvas, a better UX for chat, writing content and coding with uh, LLMs, right? And if you go down here, you can try it out from the hosted version already. There are two alternatives that you can try. One, you can run it from the link provided from the Langchain. That is what I will be showing you in this video. The next one is you can run this locally in your computer also. But for that, you need to have Lang Graph installed. Just to show you this local installation. If you go a little bit down here, it says development and you can follow these steps. As I said to you before, Open Canvas is an open source web application for collaborating with agents to better write documents. It is inspired by the OpenAI's Canvas, but there is some differences. So what is the differences? One, it is open source because chat GPT Canvas is from the OpenAI itself and you need to be in the paid subscription in order to use that, right? And another one is the built-in memory. You can see Open Canvas seeps out of the box with a reflection agent which stores style rules and user insights in a memory store. If you want to know more about this reflection agent and shared memory store, you can go through this link but I'm not going to go through that in this particular video. Next one is you can start from existing document, meaning that you can open the canvas. You just allow the start with a blank text or code editor in the language of their choice, right? You can already go from that also. This is some of the key differences. The memory open canvas has built in memory, custom quick insights, which can be applied to all the different artifacts or or other things that you go into the into the canvas itself and there is this pre-built uh, quick actions artifact versioning there are different versions of the artifacts also the artifact view allows for viewing and editing both the code and the markdown and the live markdown rendering and editing you can already do the renderings uh, in the canvas itself go to this open canvas.langchain.com go here and by the way you need to be logged in i am already logged in but if you go uh, here and let me open this in a new window, let me let me open it incognito. You can see here it asks you to log in via these uh, things. You can log in with email or Google. Once you are logged in, this is the UI on the top. This is the chat icon. You can have a new chat and from here you can choose different models. This is the good part of uh, open source projects because it will be providing you different models. Here there is Cloud Pro Mini and then Fireworks uh, Llama 70 billion. You can choose the models from here. On the top, this is the reflections. Here I have some of the reflections from my previous prompts. So whenever you start having the conversation with it, you will see the reflections being updated here. And if you click this chat, you can have your previous chats here, the normal history things. And now there is this uh, new markdown and new code file. If you click on this, you can already go here and write things. And you can see here there is already this versioning being shown here. And on the down, you can choose the models and have the similar conversation as in the canvas also. If you go here, there are different uh, things. For example, here, this is the length. There is reading label the translate feature also here this is the custom quick prompts where you can go and write the uh, custom quick uh, prompts i will show you one example when we go into the implementation now if i go to the coding part let's say this is the new core file the ui is same but the functionality is different on the left side you can choose different models and have the conversation here you can write your code and then here on the down, this is the quick actions as before, but then these things changes based on either this is the code. So here in the code, there is this fix box, and there is this port language, so you can do go in different uh, languages. And here is this add logs, so you can add the logs in the code. And then there is this add comments, you can ask uh, to write the uh, comments into it but let's go through the simple example from the ones it is here right i can see here we scraping program in so if i click this one we can see the question that is asked and the answer it is shown here the things is kind of same similar to how it was in the chat gpt uh, canvas also right and the functionalities there's not this is how video as i said before let's not go into the implementation part 
but as before you can just select this and ask open canvas to do it a uh, better way so you can just ask here something and it will update it right and one thing is these quick actions if i go here you can see i have already written two of these things just to show you a simple example how it works i have this thank you message so you can see this is the ui that is shown here but i have just written here one quick thank you message and i said here thank you for helping me learn things better at the end of the answer i have saved this right before and now here it is not shown here if i want to apply this well what i want to show you here is you can customize this for example if i click this thank you message it will go through the code and the last it will show you the thank you right here it says if you need any further modification enhancement feel free feel free to ask thank you for helping me before it was not here you get the idea you can add more actions into it so you can customize the uh, canvas right now the next functionality if, you, if i go to this chat icon if i click it it will go through this and try to fix the box if there is some box and if i go here there is this port language if you want to go into different language for example javascript it will go and convert the code and you can see on the top here it is showing the different versions right you can go to the previous one so this is the previous one and the previous one and so on already from here and what additional we have this uh, add logs also you can just go here and say okay add logs it is going through the print statement you can see there are some print statements being added but as i showed you in my previous video if you want to say add maybe let's say logging here use logging for logs let's just say that it will go through the code and you can see here it now uses logging instead of the print statements and what additional feature we have is this add comments you can go here it will go through the code and add the comments whenever necessary the same as last video where i explained you the comments can be overkilling also at some point because you don't need all the mm, comments right so yeah this is the functionality we have already in the in this is the uh, coding part and you can see here you can copy this and then paste uh, somewhere one additional thing here is also the view run in langsmith if you are a user of langchain you know that there is the langsmith i have created the video before but if you click on this all the traces are being logged in the langsmith you don't even need to log in to see this um, from the canvas you can see here all the things are being logged which you asked you can just go here and explore what is the feedback metadata or other things right just go through this and see how it is being logged. Now let me go back here. And this is the example of coding. Now let me go through the another one with the markdown. If I go now to the new chat, I can now go here and say, help me draft an email to my professor Craig. This is a simple example. It has one additional functionality because now this is the markdown, right? What you can do, let's say that you want to have this one step down. You can just drag here and it goes down. This is how you can already drag let's say you want to have something here you can add uh, maybe it's a heading or basic blocks some additional tables or whatever you want to add one thing really good here is also the preview of the markdown let me say that i want to have here one heading and i will say just as example hello so this is the already rendered version if you want to see the previous one you can just go to this eye icon here view the raw markdown and you can see that this is in the markdown this was the heading one it is in the markdown you can just uh, go to the rendered version also so yeah, this is how it is being shown here and similar to before you can also give the thumbs up or thumbs down for example if you want to give thumbs up there is a thumbs up feedback received thank you and you can choose the different models as before and again now here this is the actions as before so you can say thank you if i go again here this is just the example as i said here there is this thank you for helping me learn things better you can do whatever you want to do similar to the coding you can just highlight this and ask um, open canvas to help you enhance this code if you go to the writing tools and you want to add emoji it will just go here and add emojis and so on and one good thing is you can have from the plus icon if you go to the emoji you can select from here okay which one uh, you want to have it's quite easy uh, handy way 
And if I go here, there is also this adjust the length, right? Let's say that I want to have a little bit longer or there is this shorter and shortest. Let's say I want to have a bit longest email. So I'll go here and now it is being updated. It's a little bit longer, right? And here, this is this reading level. You go here and let's say this is the PhD level. Now this is the college level. This is the teenager and there is this child and there is the pirate level. Let's say that I want to have in the pirate. I just click this and then this will be written a prof professor Craig and all the different things. You can see how the pirate speaks. This is just for fun, right? And the last thing here is the language. For example, let's say you want to convert this to another language. You can go here and there are some of the language by default being shown here. And let's say I want to go with Hindi. I can just click Hindi and now this will be translated to Hindi. And once I do all the things as before in the coding also, you can see here there is these versions of the artifacts. You can just go here and choose different versions on top of it. Now, if you go to the reflections, you can see that the reflections is current reflections generated by the assistant for the content generation. You can see the style reflections, use Python for web scraping tasks, implement logging and so on. The content reflection is the user is interested in the web scraping, the user prefers Python for programming a task and the user values proper logging and tracking in their code. So you can see the reflections are really good. If you don't want this, you can clear this. Okay, clear the reflection. Now there is no reflections and it will be updated as, as we uh, ask questions into the open canvas. I think this is a really good project. And by the way, this is uh, updated as we speak because you can see here it is updated uh, four days uh, last month and so on. So in the future, if you go down here, there is a roadmap, the render, react in the editor, multiple assistants, give assistants custom tools and so on, right? This is open source. So if you uh, want to contribute to these projects also, you can just contribute and that is how you can contribute things. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you because in the previous one, it was just for the paid users and some of you asked if there is an alternative to that. And there is the alternative called Open Canvas. Go through is. It's, it's the free tool provided by Langchain and if you want to play locally by yourself, go ahead and do it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.